Hello, this is EJ Kreiner, and this is my video submission for the RF Knock HLS Challenge for Team E to the J Omega. My project is titled RF Knock Neural Net. The repo is RF Knock HLS Neural Net. This walkthrough will cover the high level goals of the RF Knock Neural Network project and demonstrate the FPGA software workflow uh, it, as a bit of a cooking show. So we'll go quick, try and hit all the main points, and uh, show the various stages involved with creating a neural network on the FPGA. So the high level goal I set out here is to provide a library of common neural network building blocks implemented in C that can then be used to deploy neural networks efficiently to an FPGA. The idea being that neural network designers will be able to paste these together using C uh, simulation and then synthesize and uh, interact with this FPGA without needing to maintain a, a large uh, amount of glue code. So the way that works is that uh, C++ code is used with Vado HLS to create the architecture for the neural network similar to the way the TensorFlow neural network is instantiated. Uh, HLS synthesizes that C into HDL. We have more HDL that wraps that into an RF not compute engine, and then we have a UHD and GNU radio integration that uh, creates a Python flow graph. Uh, it can be used with GNU radio companion. So the walkthrough that I'm going to take a look at, uh, we're going to start at uh, the Vado HLS frame. Uh, so this, this example is a modulation recognition example prepared by my colleague Derek Kawamoto, who's been doing some modulation recognition research. The concept is you have a set number of features, it passes into the neural network, uh, there's five layers, and then it classifies what type of modulation you have. So uh, Derek has provided me weights, he's provided me example stimulus and example outputs. I've put together uh, this C simulation code with the uh, compute layers, ReLU layers, um, uh, and, uh, and this simulates, it uses his uh, Derek stimulus and we get low error values. We, we tested on one. It's not negligible because this is fixed point, but it is small. So uh, once we generate the code, we can uh, build it into an RF knock block. So you see here, I have the RF knock block up on my second stage of my cooking show. Uh, so you see RF knock FPGA source knock block ex modrec. At the top of the file is the typical um, RF knock. It's attached to the Axie crossbar. I wrap the uh, HLS neural network in a uh, neural net vector wrapper. This is because neural nets have different variable sized input outputs, so this handles the different input output sizing. Once that's created, I've got text test benches for all the examples. You can run MixSim HLS, and that will run and, uh, and, and confirm using the exact same data that we ran in the stimulus. The next step, once the RF knock block is created, is to put it into an uh, actual hardware implementation. So I've been testing on the E300 because I think it's a really cool application to run a, uh, a, a fast neural network in the FPGA that wouldn't be able to keep up on the arm. So uh, that's, that's kind of the killer application here, in my opinion. Um, so I've got the EX Moderec in here. I'll make it targeting the E310 RF knock. And uh, we'll move on. I've got one built already. The next uh, step is to build the software. So this is a typical GNU Radio Companion flow graph. The important parts are in the middle here. RF knock FIFO and the RF knock Moderec example. This is Moderec example straight from the uh, neural network library that we just created. The wrapper code here is just to deal with uh, different data type sizing, but we can generate this flow graph, uh, send it over to the uh, to the uh, E310, and I've got the E310 up here. I'm going to run the application, Python neural network ex example modrec, pointing to the bit file uh, that has that, and it's done. It runs pretty quick. I've got 2,000 uh, input stimulus uh, data in the EX binary validation data. Uh, the point of the application is uh, read from the validation data, run it through the FPGA, store it in the modrec. So I've got uh, modrec output, and then compare versus the validation output. And the way I do that, you know, it's not a it's not a real polished, uh, pretty application here. But I just do a little hex dump and uh, look at what the binary values are. So, ideally, what you'd have is a, a data source that goes to um, like a, a raster sync, and then it plots the classifications. That would be pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't exist right now, but uh, you can confirm that uh, for 16 bits, the MSBs are correct. The LSBs are different, which is expected because one is using floating point calculations, one is fixed point on the FPGA. The important part is that the classification is right. 
And uh, you can compare the classification of every 10 outputs to the validation labels. And indeed, the FPGA is working as expected. So um, that kind of hits the big points. There are more examples. There are more HLS, um, uh, HLS simulations that can be run and synthesized. Um, please take a look at the repo. Let me know what you think. Uh, you can reach me at my email, which is ejkreiner at gmail.com. On GitHub, it's ejk43. And um, I appreciate your feedback. Thank you very much for your time.